In this video, I will show you how to create this glass looking bento grid, these hover effects, and it is also responsive. We are going to create this using Flexbox instead of grid, and I will walk you through every line of code. So let's get into it. In my project folder, I have this background image. You can find the link in the description if you like to use it. I have this index.html file with the boilerplate. Just change the title and link to style sheet. And I also open this file on the browser using live server. And inside the CSS file, I reset the margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box. So before we start, let's take a look at this finished version and break it down. So the first thing that we are going to create is a container that is going to contain all of these boxes. And if you look at inside, we basically have three boxes that are side by side. And that is the next thing that we are going to create. And the box on the left has two more boxes inside. The one at the top has two cards side by side. The one at the bottom has two cards stacked on top of each other. And the box in the middle has two equally spaced boxes stacked on top of each other. And finally, the one on the right has only two cards inside. And as you can see, these boxes are not the same size. The one on the left is taking a bit more space than the others. These two boxes are equal, but this one is bigger. So let's start with creating the container. I will create a div with the class name container. And inside, as I said, we are going to create three boxes. So the first one, I will call it row, row one. And the second one is going to be row two. And the third one, row three. So before we go even further, let's set a background image and give some border to those boxes so we can see them. I will select the body and set the minimum height to 100 VH. So this body element is going to cover the whole page. Now I can use Flexbox, Align Item Center and Justify Content Center to center this container. And I will set a background image. I will center it and make it cover the page using background size cover. Now let's select the container. Let's give it a white background. The width is going to be 1200 pixels and height is going to be 800. Let's give it a little border radius as well. Let's create some padding inside. So the next thing that we are going to do is to find a way to put these three boxes side by side. And we also need to make this row one bigger than the other two. So I will make this container a flex container. And this will put the boxes side by side, but we cannot see them right now. So these three divs have the same class. So I can select row. Let's give it a border. The same amount of border radius as the container. Now you can see those divs, but they are stacked on top of each other because they don't have any size. And because we made this container a flex container, all of its child elements have become flex items. And that means we can select those items. And using flex, we can place them inside this container. So the one on the left is going to be bigger than the others. So I will give this one flex 2. And these two is going to have flex 1. And as you can see, the one on the left is much larger than the other two. And let's also put some gap between those as well. Inside the container, I will use gap. And now that we can see the boxes, I can delete this background color. So if you take a look at the finished version, we basically have the same three boxes. So we are going to continue with this card. If you take a look at inside, as I mentioned earlier, we have two more boxes inside. We have one box at the top and one more box at the bottom. Let's go back into HTML. 
I will go into this row one and let's create a div with the class name column and there is going to be another one. This will be column two. So these two divs are going to be flex containers to another boxes, which are going to be inside. This one is going to be column box and another one. And let's copy and paste this to the other one as well. Let's go back into CSS. So because we created these columns inside this row one, I will go into row one and I will set it to display flex to make it a flex container. And to be able to see these child elements, let's select the columns and give them a red border. And as you can see, just like before, they are stacked on top of each other and we cannot properly see them because they don't have any size. I will select the other one as well. And I will give them flex one. But if you take a look at the finished version, we need these boxes to stack on top of each other. So I will go into row one and change the flex direction to column. And now we have the containers for these cards. Let's also put some gap between them as well. And let's give them the same amount of border radius. So now that we have the containers, we can also select the boxes inside. Let's give them a border as well. And just like we did with the others, we need to have a flex container to properly place those boxes. So I will make this first column a flex container and the other one as well. And now we can set this column box to flex one. And if you take a look at the finished version, the one at the bottom has the cards on top of each other, not side by side. So the one on the bottom is column two I will go into column two and change the flex direction to column and I can delete this border on the column. And let's also create some border radius for these boxes as well. Put some gap between them. This box on the left is completed. We can go to the next one, which is the one on the middle. So the one on the middle is this row two. We will have three boxes stacked on top of each other. So I will create a box, copy and paste it two more times. And the final one has two boxes inside. So let's copy and paste this. Let's go into CSS. I will select the box. I will give it flex one, but the parent element of these box items are not flex containers yet. So we are going to make this row two and row three flex containers. So let's find them. This one is going to be display flex and this one as well. But we also need to change the flex direction because we don't want those boxes to be side by side. And to be able to see it, let's give it a border. Let's copy and paste the same amount of border radius and put some gap between them. Let's delete the border on the rows. And we have the exact same layout. Next, we will give those cards the glass effect. I will select the column box and set the background color to this transparent white. Border is going to be this gray color. If you want to use the same colors, just pause the video and type down the same. And to create the glass effect, I will use backdrop filter. And we are going to be using 50 pixels of blur. And I will select the box, set the background color to the same transparent white border to the same and blur effect is going to be same as well let's delete those borders and the styling of the layout is done the only thing left is to make it responsive so i will use two breakpoints to make it responsive 
The first one is going to be 1024 pixels and the second one is going to be 650. So one of the first things that we are going to do is to change the container's flex direction which is set to row by default which make those rows side by side and once we go down 1024 pixels in the viewport I will change it to column and let's see how it looks and as you can see this basically bring those rows stacked on top of each other next I will set these rows flex direction to row for every single one of them which is column at the moment so this is the first one the second one and third one and I will select the columns and give them a bit more space and change the flex direction to column and this is it with this breakpoint we can go to the next one I will select the container again and we will decrease the width to 900 pixels and the height as well and we will also decrease the gap as well which is at 1 EM at the moment I will bring it down to 0 0.5 I will do the same with the child elements I will bring it down to 0 0.5 and the columns as well and let's see if there's any problems and we have a little problem in here there is too much space let's see which one this is column 2 let's take a look at it and I think I need to delete this gap and there you go so I just realized I forgot to create some hover effects for these boxes I will select the column box and on hover we will make it just a little bit bigger using scale and we will change the border color and for all the other boxes we are basically going to do the same thing so let's copy and paste it and also some transition for this hover effect let's copy and paste this to column box as well and oops I forgot to add hover that should do it so this is how we can create a responsive bento grid layout using HTML and CSS I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for your time and I will see you next time